We're gonna just stay on it, dude. We'll stay on the gas. That's a tree. Oh my god, I turned it too hard. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, one of the coolest cars in the game. And honestly, it is very surprising how good this car actually is. It's not meta. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way first. This is not going to replace any cars in the meta. However, it does accelerate better than so many cars in this game. It's just super useful, especially I think on street two starts, which we don't really get a whole lot of, but it's going to be good. I also think because of its acceleration and the fact that it's all wheel drive, this actually might be a really good car for the brand new playlist that has Street 2 in the dirt. You see, all wheel drive cars in that dirt section are definitely doing better than cars that are not all wheel drive. And cars that have good acceleration tend to do better as well because those paths offer the hairpin turns in the dirt and these cars do well. So I'm kind of hoping we can get that dirt path. We do have the Diamond Head Grand Race start up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the pro settings. And uh, before we do that, let's just show you real quick the test times for the 3000 GT. On Kyusha Spirit, 216, 223. And on Groundworks, a 325. 325 is not great. Uh, but a 216 is, you know, it's in there. It's, it's, it's up there. The car ranks at about 41st out of the like 80 or so cars I've tested. So it's right in the middle but it accelerates well, and uh, hopefully we can do well with it in the grand race. Here are the pro settings. So for the power distribution, I'm at 47% towards the front. Brake balance is at 70%. And we've got the aero load rear at minus seven. Suspension is at plus 10 on both front and rear. Compression is at plus six in the front, zero in the rear. Minus seven for the rebound front, minus four for the rebound rear. And then we've got anti-roll bars plus 10 on both. And the alignment is at minus 0.25 in the front, minus 0.25 for the rear this gives you a lateral g of 1.14 not great but um yeah we'll see how this does man let's give it a shot all right here we go i did something stupid i'm using the camaro rs in street one then we jump into the mitsubishi and of course the gordon murray t50 hopefully that t50 can save the day for us this is gonna be a very weird one <laughs> let's go dude camaro All right, all right. Are we accelerating or no? Always like to take this cut. Okay. Someone else does also. We got to use a little bit of NOS to stay with these guys. I've raised Scientific before. He is fast. He's also in a Defender, which is... Not good for me. This Camaro takes turns so well, dude. It's the reason I picked it. I don't want to... I just want good handling. Dude, it took that like a champ. Like an absolute champ. And we are going through the city, which is going to help me a little bit. All right. Scientific is right here. He's looking to pass. We're going to just stay on it, dude. We'll stay on the gas. That's a tree. Oh my God. I turned it too hard. Dang, dude. That was just so unfortunate. I'll be honest. I did not expect the car to turn in that fast and it did. All right. We got some work to do, boys. We got some work to do. And Mudhawk, we don't need you pushing us out. All right, Camaro, let's get it, dude. Let's get into slip. Did we make it? Oh, we almost made it, David Caster. Hang tight, dude. We might be able to survive this transition. Oh, 
Oh, he's all over the place. Let's take the cunt. Come on, Mitsubishi. Come on, dude. Let's just get into slip and stay there. Oh, I had one more gear, bro. This car understeers so bad. We can't let David get away. Oh, it understeers so bad, dude. <laughs> it's real bad. It's... Oh, he tapped the wall. No. All right. It, it's bad. The understeer is terrible. Even with that, dude. You see how far I slowed down just to take that turn? It's wild. I really wish we did not have this rail because this is a lot of high speed. A lot of high speed turns and tests. Very stable off-road though, dude. I wish we were off-road. I wish we were off-road. All right, I'm not trying to block. I promise. I'm just... The car is just understeery. We got a couple of... Oh, oh, I swear to God. I swear I'm trying to get out of the way, guys. <laughs> it's no match for these... For these uh, 911s, dude. Oh, I used him to turn a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm at a disadvantage. I got this. I got this crazy bad handling car. Here we go. Into hyper. All right. Come on, T50, dude. Save the day for me, please. Oh, we got the checkpoint. That corner is very easy to understeer. It is a problem sometimes. All right, let's just calm down. I don't know that we stand a chance on catching Scientific, but maybe we can secure ourselves a second place, dude. Not a terrible gutter, a little slower, I think, than what's possible. But not super bad, especially not for me, which, you know, I'm not the best at guttering. We came out of that actually pretty squeaky clean. Whew, I'm on edge right now. I'm just trying to secure this. Oh, this is too much. All right, we'll just do that. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was controlled braking right there. <laughs> I'm putting on a clinic of what not to do. All right, Scientific is just absolutely gone. GG's to him. Nice win. I was hanging in there for a bit. And then... I hit a tree. <laughs> GG's. GG's. All right. The T-50 absolutely saved us. Look, where is anybody? There they come. We put the gap on him with the T50, but... <sighs> that Camaro. That's where I messed up, dude. I messed up with the Camaro. I didn't expect it to turn in that well, even though I just got done saying it was so good. And, uh, yep, I turned it in way too hard. Hit that tree. Anyways, let's talk about the 3000 GT, one of the coolest cars in the game. Uh, it understeers like crazy. It's very understeery. So the handling is not great, but... It does have good acceleration and I'm still holding out hope that it's going to be useful in the dirt. We didn't get the pleasure of doing it in this race, but 
you know, maybe sometime soon. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.